Hey there, welcome back to Spirits Mech Lab. We're going to kick it down with a little something different. Uh, different than that SRM missile boat. This is uh, Bomb Boat 1 with his dual ERPPCs. He's a Catapult K2 model, which, uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, it removes these missile packs here on the side and replaces them with uh, energy type weaponry. You can also mount a couple of uh, really heavy ballistic type weapons on the side. I've got a couple of light AC-5s because PPCs, especially ER PPCs, have a habit of missing dramatically up close. They're really meant to be distance weapons and mid-range weapons, but not much else. They're also extremely hot, so when push comes to shove, I'm going to have to fall back on these AC-5s. AC-5 is a decent amount of damage when I'm pumping two of them into you every couple of seconds. Uh, once I've pumped four into you, you've essentially taken the damage of an AC-20 shot, which is devastating to any chassis. So, if somebody closes in on me and sees these gigantic things I've mounted on my arms, uh, they're probably going to get cocky, because they know what I'm capable of with those and what I'm not capable of, especially the light mechs. They're going to try to take advantage of me. Uh, what they can't see, at least not right away, is the uh, autocannons on the side. I'm hoping that this will bring some surprise to the match. And uh, really, the best case scenario for me is if nobody bothers me and allows me to stand still up on the hillside and bring these gigantic ER PPCs. ER standing for extended range, by the way, for anybody who's not familiar with the Battletech universe. These gigantic ER PPCs will be devastating, provided I can aim them. Uh, there is something on my, I'm on my way to in the modules category. Advanced Zoom is something that I've just unlocked with my experience. It's going to cost me 2 million C-bills, and that's a fair ways away, as you can see down here. I'm uh, not even a 20th of the way there. Uh, well, yes, I am. I'm a, I'm a tenth of the way there, actually. That's, uh, that's a lie. Anyway, uh, so as soon as I get that Advanced Zoom and I get a 4 times magnification window, uh, these ERPPCs are really going to become useful. I can also switch this catapult, losing these ERPPCs, and every single heat sink I have will allow me to mount Gauss rifles on either side. Also very expensive, very expensive with ammunition as well, but uh, the range is in excess of the ERPPC, um, as is, well, I'd like to say the damages as well. I could be wrong on that. But I do think the Gauss Rifle does more damage than a PPC. It's also more localized, in my opinion, allowing you to strip armor off of specific parts. Uh, it doesn't create as much of a trail, allowing you to stay somewhat hidden, especially if you have terrain on your side. Anyway, I, I digress. Right now we're talking about ER PPCs. Very loud, very obnoxious. Receiving a, a boon soon, uh, the developers have said. They're going to make these things disrupt your your vision and your targeting for a moment when you get hit by them just like they did in the old mech games where uh, you get hit by a PPC and it's gonna fuzz your display for a while uh, they are in fact shooting molten rounds of pure matter at you it would definitely disrupt anything electronic but uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go into battle and splice it together with this video in uh, Premiere later and show you what it's like but for now let me just go ahead and close this and open this now in between uh, closing fraps so it wouldn't crash to desktop and opening fraps again for this match I've actually made a lot of changes to that mech I just showed you sort of invalidating the use for that video uh, I left the ER PPCs but I took away the AC5s because I actually had a match in between then and now where those AC5s proved themselves to be uh, a little hard to use and the ammunition just wasn't worth replacing. I replaced that with uh, medium pulse lasers, added a couple heat sinks, a um, couple machine guns. I mean, why not? If something's right in my face, I do want to be able to try to pick away at a critical spot or something. Um, this is a criticizable mech at this point because my heat efficiency is now even less tolerable. With these ERPPCs and now my backup system of <laughs> energy based weaponry, um, if I start to overheat, there is very little I'm going to be able to do about it.
fact that my tonnage is actually only at 59 tons out of 65. My hard points are full. I can't equip any more weapons. I have no use for any more ammo. I even shoved an anti-missile system.